When Glenn Stevens leaves the Reserve Bank of Australia next month after a decade at the helm, investors will lose one of their more experienced guides. Not many central bankers can accuse big investors of dropping the bundle during January's turmoil or tell markets to chill out, as he did last year. Whether investors do in fact chill this week will depend very much on what the RBA decides to do with interest rates on Tuesday. Ahead of the Bank of England's meeting on Thursday, where post-Brexit easing in some form is expected, an unexpectedly dovish RBA has the power to rattle markets. Ask economists and the vast majority think an Australian interest rate cut is on the cards. Markets, meanwhile, imply investors have only priced in a 40% probability. Australia's record low inflation gives the RBA the space to ease policy, should it so wish. Data last week showed consumer prices holding below its target band, which is between 2 and 3%. It's for 18 months now and counting. Markets, on the other hand, seem to be looking at headline growth. That's running at 3.1% year-on-year in the first quarter, which was a three-year high. And also fears that a rate cut could stoke already racy house price growth have limited the number who are willing to bet on policy easing this week. Perhaps Mr Stevens has one more market moving comment in him. He triggered a half cent fall in the Aussie dollar sending shockwaves around the markets three years ago when a newswire misinterpreted his dry sense of humour. A weaker currency would do some of the RBA's work for it and save the room for a manoeuvre it has for Mr Stevens' successor. Philip Lowe. The joke would be on markets tomorrow if they've underestimated the chances of that.